Hello, welcome back to RS Thinks. This is a bit of an impromptu video. I've come out to the car this morning and found that it won't actually open. So I'm suspecting it's something to do with a 12 volt battery. But if you just try the key, I'll show you the key. So I'm pressing, nothing's happening. So what I need to do is get into the car and manually open the front charge flap because as you know, I press the button it's not going to open but there is a way inside to actually um, open it manually so that's what we'll do at the moment you've got your key here if you move this little flap to the side then you can actually pop out the key and once you've popped it out you've got a normal normal key that will open the door so let's go and open the car and try Okay, so we're in. So now you just have to pop the hood. So then I'm going to need a screwdriver for this, I'll just go grab one. Got the screwdriver. So if you look inside, there's a little sort of recess with a catch that you just move to one side and then you can get inside otherwise you're at the mercy of the electronic release uh, which obviously is not going to work if your battery's flat so now we're opened up i'm going to try just plugging it in and charging it and seeing what happens i'm i'm hoping that the the third light would come on which indicates that it's charging the 12 volt battery so we'll just have to see Well, nothing's happening yet. It's not even locking the charger. Yeah, I'm plugging the charger on, and normally the charger locks, but I can plug it straight off. I can, I can hear the relay going. I can hear the relay going in the in the wall charger. It's doing something, but there's no lights on the actual car that indicate charging or otherwise so I'm a bit stumped at this one actually I do have a battery charger a 12 volt battery charger maybe I could do that um, see what that does um, I've definitely got a meter so I can bring that out and have a look and see what voltage the battery is actually putting out so I just gotta grab that bear with me one second so I've just hooked up my meter to the battery so I can just measure what actual voltage is in there. So let's let's have a look. Moment's on zero. So if I just get my probe and touch it onto the negative side. Okay, we're pulling four volts. So that's nowhere near it should be. Be around 12. Okay, so what I'm going to try next, I, I do have a 12 volt battery charger, so I'm going to try connecting that and see if the power then actually starts the car charging because the car is still not charging. There's nothing, nothing indicating that at all. So I'll try that next. Okay, so we're on. Just plug it in now. Okay. Excellent. So then I was able to actually use the key to unlock the car, turn the alarm off. Lots of clicking going on. So you didn't see it then, but um, I stopped the camera filming and just as I did, uh, there was another beep, there you go, 
This is another bit. This is where the car is actually locking itself. So if I unlock the car and it stops it, it's probably to do with the bonnet open, probably. I'm not sure on that, but the car is actually now charging. So if we have a look, look in there, the car's now charging. Just see that, I think. Zoom in. Yeah. So the third light is charging because we are about over 80% full anyway. The battery charger is saying that it's charging too, but it says it's actually full. So I'm going to pull off the battery charger now and just see if it makes any difference with the charging or being able to unlock, unlock. Maybe, maybe hooking at the battery charger has reset something. Oh, so the car just locked itself then and then we got the alarm again. So if I unlock it, that's fine. So let's just disconnect the battery charger. Shut the bonnet. I'm not expecting this to make any difference, but it may stop the beeping. So we're still charging. Okay, the car's just locked itself again. Yeah, it was the bonnet open that was making the beeping noise then. So that's good. So, let's go see what we can see on Leafs by. So I managed to get into the car okay. The, um, the keyless thing's working. The little black button on the door handle is working as well. So I'm just gonna uh, switch on. Yeah, that was works okay as well. I'll just keep my little OBD dongle in the car. I'll just connect this up. Okay, so Leafs by is now connected and it's showing the battery voltage is 14.4 volts so that means if you look in the bottom corner down here let me focus yeah down here look it's a 14.4 volts which means it's actually charging that's the that's the normal amount you would get onto like a normal car when the alternator is going it's slightly over 12 volts so what i'll try doing is switching off the charging by pressing the thing okay so we're not charging anymore and the voltage has dropped to 12.4 volts, 12.2 now. It's just staying at a steady 12 volts now. So I'm just gonna go and plug the charge back in again, just to keep it going. So after the least spy, I've just unplugged it um, and plugged the charger back in just to top it up. It, it was an 88% already, but I'm just hoping that this is gonna to top the 12 volt battery up as well. I'm still charging. You can just see the lights on there. So I'm not sure what the conclusion is of this yet. I'm, I'm going to see how it goes and then follow up, follow up with this later. So you probably see this next. So just hang on in there. So it's later in the afternoon now. Um, what I did was I had the car on charge all afternoon. It was at 80 something percent anyway. So it only only took a few hours to get to 100 um, percent. Once it got to 100 percent, I connected the meter across the battery again and it was showing 12.8 volts this time so it definitely um, charged the battery which which is good so it, it, it shows the mechanism is still working correctly to do that um, I used Leaf Spy and went on just a short drive around the around the area and it actually logs all the values and things that it can see so there's various things in there like uh, the speed distance you've done, the state of charge, all that kind of things, but there's also the 12 volt battery uh, voltages. So if you look at the screen here, it, it starts at 12.96 volts, which is which is fine. It, it did go up to 13 there at some point. Um, but if we just scroll down a little bit further, you can see we've got a whole bank here of 14.4 volts, which means the battery was actually charging as I was driving. So that's, that's a, another good sign. So I'm, I'm pleased with that too. So something else that also happened was I checked the fault codes uh, for the car as well. So I'll put those here. Um, there are quite a few. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six codes here. Um, U100A8708 charger. I actually Googled that and found something online about that being an issue with the 12 volt battery. Um, people having the same experience that I did. Uh, they go to the car, they try and unlock it. It's it's not working so 
so that's a good sign that it's it's related to the 12 watt battery that, that particular one here there's other ones as well there's a HEV motor system there's a motor control thing drive motor and control module there's a motor control 14 volt power supply one drive motor a inverter as well um, multi AV is, is not so much an issue that's that's related to the shark fin aerial because you lose AM reception when you install that I'm, I'm assuming that's something to do with that but the radio head unit works perfectly so I'm, I'm, not, I'm not too concerned with that at the moment so these um, I'm going to print these out and I'm going to get my car booked in to the local dealer um, and then they can they can have a look and see what the issue was if it's if it's a 12 volt battery that needs replacing or needs kind of topping up with something or I don't know then I'll let them sort that out it's still under warranty so I shouldn't have to pay for anything so um, I'll do another video after this with an update so um, so please like and subscribe and if you hit the little bell icon you can be notified when the next video goes live which will hopefully be the rectification of this um, and I'll tell you exactly what happened so so thank you for watching see you later